So in this video, we'll be doing the Soundtail or the True Spirit Circuit. So let's get into it. So before I start the video, uh, make sure you subscribe. Yes, subscribing is helpful. Uh, don't forget to uh, join my Discord in the description below. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just join it because just want to get this popular. And I'll get this 30 likes this time. Yes, 30 likes for this one since it's going high. Like my previous videos are liking very fast. So I could put this to a little bit harder. 30 likes. So. Let's get to that one, and I believe that that's it, let's get into the video. So let's have the first mode. The first mode, or to obtain the scroll, it spawns at the Dunge Village. The Dunge Village at 10, 7, 10 a.m. p.m. game time. So the game time, not the real time, the game time, it was so on the top, right, so the chances of getting this one is 1 out of 30, yes, it has been updated since the terabit got up there, so that's fine. So to unlock it, once you got the scrolls, you need to be level 500 on your stats, and the chocolate needs to be level 1800, and the cost will be 1 million riot, so those are what you need to obtain and unlock the scroll. So let's activate it. Okay, so yes, this one adds two wings behind you, so see it adds two wings, but they're actually made from leaking charcoal, so it comes you like probably like light green. Yes, light green is my thinking, so leaks you out light green clothes, you can see those bubble leaking out, so that's what it makes you look like when you activate the mode. So let's see what the stats give you. The stats gives so yeah, the stats gives 1800 on your charcoal. Ninjutsu and XP and 2500 on your Taijutsu. So let's see what else. Yes, so the Q mode is same for the other mode, it roars at the player. So that is the Q mode, simply roars at all players. Which is the same to the other tail piece. The Z mode, the Z mode similarly suits beams on you. So it's pretty sure that suits like poison, it's poison gas on the player. You make them dizzy, so that's my thinking. But. But that's what it is. The also another thing for this one is you can also fly. So I'm pretty sure you can also yes. So you can fly in this one. You just need to first space a lot of time. Okay, yes, finally I got it. You just need to spam the space bar multiple times to fly. So yes, you can tell you can fly, but it does take the stat statima. You can see on the bottom it takes statimas from this thing. So you can fly. You just need to spam the space button multiple times. So that is what it does. Yeah, and plus it's also you, you can't float so when you're not flying. So when, when you activate the mode. So that is what the first mode is. Now let's go to the second mode. So now let's go to the second mode of the seven tail. So let's activate. So before the level requirement to unlock this is 210. So yes, 210 to unlock this level requirement. So let's activate it. I mean, so okay, two. This one, there is actually no difference besides adding another tail behind you, and everything looks the same. So now it becomes a free tail. Let's see what the stats give you. The stats gives the uh, 1925 on your chakra, ninja suit and HP, and 2500 on your tiger suit. So that is how much it gives you. So similarly, all these users of modes are the same from the previous one. Like, they're all the same. I think this includes the Z mode, it's supposed to poison at the player. If we just same from stage 1. So, that is what it is. Now let's go to the second mode. And yes, you can also fly in this one. So you need to double space it. Like, kiss bang the space bar for this one. So let's go to, second, let's go to the third mode. So, now let's go to the third mode. The third mode is... The the other one. It's different. It's not different, just saying you know. But, it has another tail. So, to unlock that, you need to be level 322 to unlock it. Let's activate it. So yes, there is no difference. Same to the previous stage. Just add another tail. And just the stats update. So to unlock. So let's see what this, it actually gives you. So it gives 2,000 on your chakra. Ninja suit and HP. And 2,400 on your chakra. This is what it gives you. They're all the modes the same. You can turn this one. This is the Q mode. Same to the all other tail pieces. To some of them. And the Z mode shoots poison, which makes them go to sleep. And plus, you can fly as well. So, 
That is what the third mode. Now let's go to the fourth mode. Now let's go to the fourth mode. So to unlock the fourth mode, you need to be level 420 to unlock it. So let's activate it and see what it does. So yes, it's also the same from the previous one. Just add another tail and update the stats so now it becomes the five tail. So that is what it does. So here's all. So now let's take a look at what the stats give you. The stats gives 2100 on the Chakra Ninja Suit and HP and 2600 on your Tiger Suit. So that's what it gives you. So the Q and the Z are all the same. You can tell right here. It's rolls. It's the same to all other tail base, including the ones that are not the stone tails. And the, this one makes them fall asleep. And plus you can also fly in this one. Yes, you can fly in this one. Which is the same to the previous stage. So that is what it is. Okay, now let's go to the fifth mode of the Sun Tail. So now let's go to the fifth mode. The fifth mode to unlock it is level 500 on the True Spirit. So let's activate it. So yes, there is no difference, same from the previous, but add another tail. So now it becomes the sixth tail. So let's see what the stats give you. The stats give 2,300 on your chocolate ninja Su and hp and 2800 on those tiger suit so that's what it gives you all the modes are the same to so get the q mode it rolls at the player to right there and the z yeah the z the z suit support and makes them go to sleep it might kill them as well yes that's what it is and plus you can also jump in this one yes but you just see keep spamming the space bar i started in the first stage so please sure you should know what it is now let's go to the sixth stage of the sun tail so now let's go to the sixth mode to unlock the sixth mode you need to be level 700 on the sun tail so yes level 700 on the sun tails so let's activate it so yes there's no difference as well now it becomes a sun tail so the sun tail looking clicks out so that's just the same from the previous mode but just makes it sun tail Let's see what the stats give you. The stats gives 2450 on your chakra, in your student HP, 2900 on your tiger suit. So that is what it gives you. The yes, the most is the same, so the Q, rolls, and the Z suits poison at the player. And yes, you can also jump this one. But it just need to take you a lot of attempts to do it. So that's what it is. Now let's show you the seventh mode of the seventh tail. So now let's go to the Berserk mode of the Sun Tail. So to unlock the Berserk mode, you need to be level 830 on the True Tail. So let's activate it. So yes, this is the Berserk mode of the Sun Tail. So it completely covers your, your body in the color it was used to be when it was leaking. And at, also it changes the, the leaking. So now the leaking is like spread like fires. Yeah, that's what it is also adds a horn and changes your face so that's what it is let's see what the stats give you the stats of the bonus gives 2500 on your chakra ninja your student hp and 3000 on your tiger suit so that's what it gives you so the q mode the q mode rolls at the player that is to see the previous mode and the z mode suits a giant atomic at the player so, so this is same for the all other tail pieces when they have the berserk mode but yeah, they shoot a giant black ball at the player and it then it's exploded. So that's what it is. Now let's go to the incomplete chocolate mode of the seven tail. So now let's go to the incomplete chocolate mode of the seven tail. So to unlock that one, you need to be level 1200 on your two tail. So that's what you need. So let's activate the mode. So yes, it's stage eight. So, so yes, this one removes all tails behind you and just completely makes a glowing version yes this is the same to our all other tail pieces but it just changes the color of it so this one yeah closes like light green yeah light green so let's see what the stats give you let's so this is the stats right here the stats is 2650 on your chocolate ninja suit hp and the chalk tiger suit is 3000 so that is what it gives you let's test the mode the q mode yeah the q mode is same it rolls at the player so that is the q mode but the Z mode is the same to our tail base. So this is what the Q mode is. Yes, this is the same to our tail base, but it changes the look of it. So like put the giant black ball in the middle, combined with four element, four orbs in of the element of what your tail base is like. So this one is putting poison gas inside it. 
So this is why they're so big. Like other ones, they do other like urban like sand or water, but this one puts in gas for orbs and then they combine together and then, then makes a giant explosion at them doing lots of damage. So that is the incomplete chakra mode. Now let's go to the completed chakra mode of the seven tail. So now let's go to the completed chakra mode of the seven tail. So to unlock that one, you need to be level 1500 on your choose so the spirit so that is what you need so let's activate it so it's c plus nine yes this one put covers you into a cloak and puts the sound tail behind you so this one is the complete chakra mode yeah the sound tails behind you are not 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 leaking anything just completely glowing and some black tip stroke on the top that's what it gives you so let's see what the stats if you for this one, the stats gives 2800 on your chakra ninja suit in HP and 3000 on your tiger suit. So that's what it gives you. So this Q mode, I'm pretty sure the Q mode, yes, the Q mode, yes, it's the same, it rolls at a player, it's the same from the previous one. But the Z mode rides on an animal. So this one you ride on a on a dragonfly thing, yes. And then when you click on the player, it aims at the player. So that is what it is. It's the same to the Artel Beast, but with different weapons or element in it. So, yes, and it completely wiped everything out here. So that is what the complete chakra mode is. Now let's go to the sixth path mode of the seven tail. So now let's go to the sixth path mode. So the sixth path mode to unlock it is the max level of the seven tail, which is 1700. So that is what you need to unlock it. So let's activate it. So just to unlock this one, you know, like you're wondering how, just Z plus zero. So that's what you need to unlock it. Not so for fun because I don't play on phone. So this is it. This is the same. So all six paths will be like this, except we just change the color of the look. So this one, yes, you can fly this one. Yes, but the fly is different. So if you look up here, look on the stamina, bar, it doesn't take anything. Like even when you fly, it does not take any stamina bar in this one. This one is pretty good because it's the max level, but you can lose your MD depending on how long you activate this mode for. So that's what it does. Let's take a look at the stats. So the stats gives 2,900 on your chakra in your student HP and 3,100 on your target suit. So that's what it gives you. So let's test the Q mode. The Q mode yeah, suits all. So this is the same from all other stages. It suits orbs and the Z mode allows you to ride on your animals. So and then when you just right, left click, it shoots orbs at the player. So that's how it does. Similarly, it lasts for about roughly 10, 10 to 15 seconds for this one, I think. Yeah, so when you keep running, it shoots orbs. So that's what it is. Uh, yes, I've done the Q mode. Now let's go to the outro. So I guess that's all the video. If you enjoy this one, I will do the 8 tail next one. Yes. <laughs> Most of you guys are requesting for the 8 tails, so I'll do the next one if I can. So, make sure you like and subscribe for the 8 tails for the next one. So, anyway, enjoy the video. Bye bye.